Hello, kia ora, I'm Philip Duncan and thanks for joining us for our Wednesday weather update recorded on the 19th. Let's have a look and see what's going on around both New Zealand and the South Pacific because there's a lot of tropical energy at the moment, a lot of low pressure zones and the one here directly north of New Zealand with the yellow gold shading that one has the potential of forming in this area here with a tropical cyclone south of Samoa but somewhere between Tonga and Niue so that's in this zone right here north of New Zealand. In the New Zealand area itself we've got low pressure that also dropped from the tropics and came out of the Tasman Sea. Now it's combined and is moving south of New Zealand. Still got a pretty warm northwesterly flow over the North Island, but a slightly cooler southerly change is moving into the south and it gets even cooler by the time we get to the end of the week. But it's this tropical zone up here that we're also keeping this very close eye on. We're going to have more information uh, in this forecast, but also as we go through Thursday and Friday, tracking this particular area here, like I say, around sort of Tonga and Niue, that's where we are expecting this storm to really deepen over the next couple of days. But let's kick off with the New Zealand forecast as we end the week before that storm has really kicked off. Here we are on Thursday with a, a fairly settled day around the country, a westerly flow still blowing through, so pretty mild and hot for those of you inland and out to the east. To the west, you've got showers on the west coast, forming, to, uh, turning to rain around Fiordland, and further to the north of the country, you've got some afternoon showers that might bubble up around Northland, Waikato, maybe into Auckland, perhaps more likely the rural areas. Into Friday now and the cooler, cooler, colder change comes through, uh, moves up the country and it fades apart as it moves northwards. So don't expect a lot of rain if you're at the top of the country, Waikato, King Country, those areas. You might get a few showers, but it's not likely to be very much. But because it's summer and because this is a cooler change and the cooler air and the hotter afternoons mixed together, that could form some heavy showers, maybe even with thunderstorms, as it moves northwards, moving up towards sort of Cook Strait, Wellington and the lower North Island. So there's a chance of that going through Friday. Otherwise, that high pressure system moving in and bulldozing that wet weather away. So let's now go to the tropics. Here we are on Saturday with this uh, likely tropical cyclone somewhere between Tonga and Niue right here, out at sea. Now that could mean the strong winds affect both of those places at the same time. Obviously with a tropical cyclone anywhere in the South Pacific, the storm usually dwarfs the country. And so a slight movement, east or west, left or right, can mean that you're entirely affected by it or just brushed by it. So this is why it's worth keeping a close eye on. We're gonna have more details about this in our Thursday update, so check again tomorrow as we monitor the development of this possible cyclone and the island nations that it might affect. For now though, New Zealand is not at risk from this storm. We've got high pressure coming on through, a few showers down around the south and the southwest of the South Island, Otherwise, most places are dry and that humidity not quite so strong as it's been uh, perhaps in some areas for the start of this week. As we go through to Sunday, the tropical cyclone up here to the north may well still be affecting Niue and Tonga. We'll keep a close eye on that. We'll have more details tomorrow about this at the moment. This is sort of just the initial outlook for it. As you can see, other low pressure zones up in the tropics, none of them are all that stormy, but the one in the Coral Sea, that's another one to keep an eye on because it could still trigger into a cyclone next week, not so much for this week. High pressure is around New Zealand on Sunday, still producing a few showers here and there. Remember, it's an anticyclonic flow going around it, so uh, winds will vary depending on which part of the country you're in. As we go into next week, the tropics still very busy. Potential tropical cyclone northeast of New Zealand, the high pressure system over us, protecting us from that coming down towards us. And in fact, as the cyclone drops further to, into that high pressure zone, it's like a buzz cutter, buzz saw, it just sort of cuts the head off the top of that low, higher up in the atmosphere, and that helps to crumble the low pressure system. So you start to see all of that falling apart as it moves southwards further towards New Zealand, but you can also see what I meant about that low around the Coral Sea, worth keeping an eye on as it starts to sort of deepen as we go into next week. New Zealand pretty quiet, a few afternoon showers here and there, otherwise dry and fairly hot. And by Tuesday of next week in the New Zealand zone, high pressure moving out to the east, stormy stuff down towards Antarctica where it should be. That means westerly winds will still be blowing around, perhaps a little bit of wet weather also coming into the west coast. Otherwise, many places are dry as a large portion of Australia is dry going into next week. But you can see the tropical energy up here to the north of the country. So we're still going to be keeping uh, monitoring the situation 
to the north of us, there is the possibility of another tropical cyclone forming. So we could be seeing two tropical cyclones north of New Zealand within the next week, worth monitoring. So please do keep up to date with the Fiji Met Service. If you want the global one, go with the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. They cover the whole planet. And uh, obviously with us here at Weather Watch, we'll be updating you on Thursday with our next weather video update. We will see you then.